Tim, why is it always like it didn't happen to Tim? Welcome back to a new segment here on Tool Time, The Resourceful Tool Man, where we show you how a tool man can be resourceful. <laughs> and redundant. <laughs> Today, the resourceful tool man goes to the kitchen. Now, say you have a hankering for some cheese and crackers. Yeah, but every knife in your house is filthy. And your wife's not there to wash them, so... What are you going to do? You can clean one yourself. <laughs> Al, I'll do the jokes. <laughs> or you could run upstairs to the bathroom and get some trusty dental floss. I need my dental floss, please. Here you are, Tim. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Use your unwaxed for your softer cheeses. That's right, and waxed for your cheddars and gouda. <laughs> Nobody cuts the cheese like Al. Now, let's say your wife's a little ticked at you because instead of fixing the stove, you blew it up. So she's wandering around the house, right? What are you gonna, what are we gonna do now? Post the fish in what, you lunkhead? What am I gonna do? I have a 12 pound fish in the hood and it's not gonna go to waste. <laughs> what? I don't do a woman's voice as well as you? No, you, you do it a little too well. <laughs> Our point is, the resourceful toolman doesn't need a working stove to make a delicious meal. Exactly, Al. All you need is heat and steam. And what better way to use that than in the dishwasher? Here's your fresh piece of salmon, Tim. Thank you, Heidi. Ah, there's a piece of fish. <laughs> I'd have my fish, a little dill. Pull the tinfoil around it, set it on the top shelf in the dishwasher. Making sure to hit the dry cycle, and in 25 minutes, you have a perfectly poached fish. Unfortunately, we don't have to wait that long because we have the fish in there already. As soon as it's done, we'll pull it out. There it is. <laughs> Lunch is ready. You hungry, Al? I am famished. All right. <laughs> Did you hit dry cycle? No, no. I, I, I went with the pot scrubber. <laughs> Someone sees me. Yeah. Hey, Randy. Great haircut. Looks like Dad when he tried to soup up the toaster. <laughs> Brad, there is a perfectly fine haircut under there somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna go shampoo and see if I can find it. That was cool. Great. I can't wait to go to history class tomorrow. Wow, it's nice to hear you talk like that. What are you studying? This new girl, Angela Lawson. <laughs> Home. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Dad. Hey, Brad. How's it going? Great. I can't wait to go to school tomorrow. New girl? Yep. <laughs> I got it. It's for me. Hello? Oh, hi, Uncle Marty. Yeah, he's right here. Yeah, try not to talk too long. Yeah, I'm expecting a really important phone call. Yep, new girl. <laughs> Get a haircut, will you? Hey, Marty, how's it going? Oh, no, Marty, no. It's me. Lost his job. That's too bad, yeah. What did the guy tell you? Hey, Dad, could you hurry up? I have to call yeah, Angela. You Your uncle just lost his job. I know. I just thought Angela's the kind of girl I could share my grief with.
doesn't work on the rinse cycle either. I got it. All right. Hey, Frank. hey, Uncle Marty. How you doing? Good. Marty, you're supposed to call me at the job interview. I tried. The phone's been busy for hours. Brad, I asked you to stay off the phone, didn't I? It's not fair that you always assume it was me. Was it? Yeah, but it still isn't fair. Hey, Marty, hey, want some drink, beer, mug of fish. Beer. So, how'd the interview go? Oh, it went great. Uh, guy and I really hit it off. He says I'm qualified. He says I remind him of his nephew. So you got the job. No, I hired the nephew. <laughs> Pretty tough out there, isn't it? Mm. You're telling me. Oh, snap. I had so many doors slammed in my face, I'm thinking about putting a doorstop on my nose. <laughs> well, Benford makes a nice one. <laughs> Speaking of that, um... I've been thinking about it. Um, we're building a new set for Tool Time, you know, and we could use a little help down there. You offering me a job? It's nothing much. You I'll know, take it. Well, you know, I'll need some references. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're my reference. No wonder you haven't found any work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Marty, how's hey. the job hunt going? Oh, it's terrific. Yeah? It's over. Well, that's great. What are you going to be doing? I'm working for Tim. Great. <laughs> We've been working together since we were kids. You remember that little stand we had out in front of the house? What a great team we were. You two had a lemonade stand. That's so cute. Right. It was a lube and oil chain stand. Oh, no. <laughs> you were a great team back then, Marty. Yeah, it was great. Hey, look. I gotta go home and tell Nancy to stop crying. I'll see you later. Yeah. And thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, bye. You can start tomorrow morning, Marty. <laughs> Yeah, plans for the new tool time set. Hey, look. Wow, we're dealing with a lot more space here. We're going modular. All of our tools will be right at our fingertips. We've come a long way, my friend. Remember when we were just two crazy young tool men with a dream? Actually, Al, it was one tool man and an extra stool. <laughs> you remember it your way, I'll remember it my way. Oh, come on, Al. It's a great time for us. Tool time's taken off. My favorite brother's coming to work for us. I know. I envy you. I've always dreamed of working with my brother, Cal, side by side. Actually, that would be wide by wide, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, guys. Here he is now. All right. Welcome aboard. Hey. Glad to be aboard, Al. Thanks. Hey, Marty. How you doing? Uh, sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my parking space. Well, the reason for that is, Marty, you, you don't have a parking place. Don't feel bad, neither do I. <laughs> I've been here six years. Six years? Jeez, that's real fair, Tim. Well, it's a small parking lot, Marty. Yeah, but you have a space. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you alternate with Al? That's a great idea. <laughs> Marty, I didn't hire you as a parking lot consultant. You're here to help build the set. I know, and I'm excited. No matter what my wife said. Uh, probably the same thing my wife said, that brothers shouldn't work together. No, that brothers as immature as us shouldn't work together. <laughs> We'll show them, won't we? <laughs> Why don't you drop your gear in the back, pick up an extra tool belt. Morning, guys. Hey, Heidi. Hey. Hey, hey uh, who's left in my space? Heidi has a parking space? <laughs> All right, what do you want to do next? Go help Al bring some of the wood over here. We're going to start on the interview desk. Hey, is that rosewood? Honduran rosewood. Isn't it great looking? Sure, if you don't mind pillaging the rainforest. We're not pillaging the rainforest. Yeah, this wood was grown by farmers specifically for commercial use. Sure, that's what they always say, but did you check it out? Well, of course we did, Marty. While you were eating your sandwich, Al and I drove down to Honduras. <laughs> pardon me for caring about the environment. Well, pardon me for trying to get the job done. Well, I'm sorry I'm slowing you up, but I was just expressing my opinion. Well, my opinion is you should keep your opinion to yourself. Well, that's your opinion. Uh-huh. Guys, guys. Al, Al, stay out of this. You'll be parking in Honduras, okay? <laughs> doing it again. You know how I hate it when you look over my shoulder. I can't look under your shoulder. I get that horrible armpit smell. <laughs> smell yours all the way across the room. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what? What is it? What's the problem? You're glopping, Marty. I'm not glopping. Yes, you are. You're I glopping. Am not. I know how to paint. 
Why are you clapping right now? I am so not. It's fine. They're, they're fine. Come boys, right. boys, remember what you said? Brothers getting along, being mature? All right, I'm sorry. I was criticizing. It's just... Uh, when I notice somebody painting in a glop-esque manner... <laughs> Could result in peg hole pluggage. <laughs> well, your point is well taken, Tim. Thank you. However, one could also argue that peg hole pluggage could easily be remedied with toothpick pokage. <laughs> toothpick pokage, you go back over the job twice and I get a toothpick. I'm arguing and we settle this with a group huggage. <laughs> Brad with his new girlfriend. Oh, love. <laughs> Man, what's she doing with a guy like him? Guys, guys, get away from the window. Stop spying on your brother. Whoa, she is cute. <laughs> Mom. Wait, wait. Back in answer. Hey, everybody. Everybody, this is Angela, this is Randy, Mark, hi. and my mom. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you. You too. So, um, I heard that you just moved to town. How are you liking it so far? Well, at first I didn't like it because it was, like, you know, different and I didn't have any friends. But then I started to make, like, you know, friends and all of a sudden I was, like, really, really popular. And I, like, love being really, really popular because, like, back home the only girls were, like, really, really popular, like the cheerleaders. But I can't jump because I have really weak angles so I couldn't be a cheerleader. It was, like, such a drag. And I was, like, so hot in that outfit. And I'm a really good speller. Does that answer your question? That and so much more. <laughs> All right, let's get upstairs and start our homework. Good idea. Let's like start with history, because that's like the most boring. It's our French is even more boring than history, not even as boring as French. <sighs> She's great, isn't she? She sure does talk a lot. <laughs> Well, she has a lot to say because all of a sudden she's like really, really popular, and you know how hard it is to be real popular when you have like three kids. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi. Mm. Well, how was your day with your favorite brother? <laughs> well, I guess it's a good time for the wife to say I told you so. Oh, I don't want to take pleasure in the fact that I was right and you were wrong. Well, if I were right, I would. <laughs> Well, then I had nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. So what did he do? He complained all day. It took like six hours to chew his bologna sandwich. Then he got Al all hopped up about not having a parking space. Oh, that's bad. Wait a minute. But Al doesn't have a parking space? <laughs> Why is everyone so concerned about where Al parks? Mm -hmm. What am I going to do about Marty? Well, you don't have much choice. You're just going to have to figure out a way to make it work. Or I can fire him. You can't fire your own brother. I just don't want another day like today, okay? I want some peace and quiet. I want no more yakking or complaining for the rest of the night. Do you have any soda? Yeah, it's fine with me. I don't have a diet, though, because my mom believes, like, artificial sweeteners is, like, really, really bad for me. So I have to have regular. But all you have is root beer, which is, like, really, really gross, or apple juice, which is really, really bad for your teeth, unless you water down that tastes yucky. So I'll just make, like, at home. Hi. <laughs> Brad's new girlfriend? Uh-huh. Cute. Wilson? Well, howdy ho, neighbor. How you doing? Tim, I'm practicing hurling. <laughs> Try some of Jill's meatloaf, you become an expert. <laughs> no, Tim. Hurling is an ancient Irish sport. It's quite akin to field hockey. Speaking of kin. I hired my brother Marty to work with me at tool time. Mm -hmm. And ever since he's been there, he's been driving me crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He thinks I'm bossing around. I think he's just hanging the butt. I might have to fire him. Mm -hmm. You know, Tim, I'm reminded of the story of Romulus and Remus. Huh? <laughs> They're two brothers who were abandoned at birth and nursed by a she-wolf. Sounds like the story of Alan Cal Borland. <laughs> <laughs> See, Romulus and Remus were very close until they decided to work together by building a city. Yeah, what happened? Well, Romulus was the boss, and he wanted things done his way, and Remus disagreed with him, and that angered Romulus. So instead of working things out, you know what he did? I'd fire him. No, he killed him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Well, I guess when you're raised by a wolf, you lack certain social skills. <laughs> no, Tim, the point is, if Romulus hadn't have been so rash and tried to meet his brother halfway, they might have been able to patch things up. I should try to meet Marty halfway. There you go. Hold on a minute. Oh, I'd love to sit and talk, but I got an eight pound sturgeon in the dishwasher. <laughs> Marty, it's kind of early. What are you doing here? Uh, yeah, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. I know what you want to talk about. You figure we better work this thing out, otherwise, we might turn into Romeo and Rolex. <laughs> The two brothers that had the severe rash that built the halfway house? Look, Tim, it, it's obvious that we can't work together, so uh, I'm quitting. You're quitting? Yeah. I mean, you're impossible to work for. I'm impossible to work for? You're a control freak. I mean, everything's got to be done on your schedule and well, your let, way. Let's figure out why that is. Let's think. You and I, let's think. Let's think. Why would that be? Why? why? Um, it's coming to me. My show. I'm boss. Maybe that's it. Oh, right. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. It's been a million laughs. Marty, you can't afford to quit. Oh, don't tell me what I can afford. You're not the only brother I can turn to. If I have to, I'll borrow money from John. He's in worse shape than you. And he'll get it from Jeff. Where's he going to get it? You can get it from Rick. And where's Rick going to get the money? From you. <laughs> How about this? Wanted. Bright, energetic self-starter willing to work long hours and weekends for very little pay. I already got that job. <laughs> what about this one? I'm not going to be a nude model. <laughs> Gary, hi, guys. Hey, Tim. Hey, Tim. Hey, Marty. What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing? Probably the same thing you did when you worked for me. Nothing. <laughs> Look, I don't have to listen to you anymore because I'm not working for you anymore. No, you don't have to listen to me because I'm not talking anymore. Well, I wasn't talking to you first. Really? I wasn't talking to you infinity and beyond. <laughs> hey, Tim, you should be ashamed of yourself. You throw your own brother out on the street? I didn't throw him anywhere. <laughs> he walked out. Yeah, that's right. I quit. Because Tim's a jerk to work for. Oh, I'm a jerk? This is why I'm making a policy? Never to work with family. Yeah, that in fact, nobody in your family would hire you. <laughs> okay, if we shop in the same hardware store, we're gonna mark our territories. My zones, automotive, plumbing, power tools, and small nuts and bolts. Hey, wait a minute, how come you get all the good stuff? Because I got the tool show. All right, I forgot, Mr. Tool Man. It's real funny, Marty. What does that leave me with? Brooms. Oh, and uh, plungers, too, Martin. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, toilet flip, that's for sure. Hey, 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 guys, guys, hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to run a business here. You know, people come in here and buy things, or at least they used to. Okay, okay, okay. If you two don't stop acting like babies, I'm going to ask you both to leave. Leave? You mean you're throwing us out? I believe that was the gist of his drift. <laughs> no one's ever kicked me out of a hardware store before. Yeah, me neither. I've been kicked out of school, church. My own house. Girls' locker, locker room. room. <laughs> yeah. oh, we've been kicked out of a lot of places. Never a hardware store. I think this time we went too far. You know, Marty, the only reason I treat like that at work is I'm the boss. I got a, I got a job to do, you know? Yeah, I know. And I, I guess I was acting like kind of a butt. Kind of. <laughs> All right, look. I appreciate that you offered me the job. I would just appreciate it even more if you never offered me another one. I appreciate if I slip up and do offer you a job, you won't take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do? I don't know. I got to find something. How about construction? I got a buddy, Peter, at KB Construction. They're always looking for people. Really? That'd be great. I'll give him a call tonight. Terrific. Well, let's head over to Big Mike. You want a beer? Yeah. All right. See you guys. See you, Tim. Oh. Good body. We got to stop by the house real quick. <laughs> Flounder. Mackerel. <laughs> Welcome to the brand new tool time set. We got a lot more tools. 
A lot more fire extinguishers. <laughs> and we put in some built-ins with everything a man loves. Sports. The armed forces. <laughs> We've got Tim. We've got Al. <laughs> When we were remodeling the set, two words came to mind. Unpaid overtime? <laughs> no, Al. Modular design. How do you want to show them the new Tool Time Library? Complete with all the fabulous classic works of tool history. A tale of two steam shovels. <laughs> Stainless steel magnolias. <laughs> David Copperpipe. <laughs> and behind that unit? Got an all-purpose paint setter. Heidi, why don't you show them what's behind door number two? You got your power tools on one side. Yeah. And more power tools on the other side. <laughs> and here's the most exciting part of our new set, our brand new interview area. Heidi. in style. Al, why don't you be my first guest? All right, thank you, Tim. <laughs> well, Mr. Borland, I'm sure it was tough getting you on the show due to your hectic work schedule. <laughs> Good one, Tim! We're going to show a clip of Al's new movie. Now, what was it like making love with Flipper? That was a great idea, huh? I'll show that clip right now. Unlike Tim, was generous enough to alternate her parking space with me. That's right. And it's never too soon to start alternating. <laughs> Stand by on your mark. All stop. All stop. You're going to be in position there, okay? And really. Your mark. Set. Go. We'll have to look at the replay. <laughs>